stop acting like this. We'll Sam, to Sam, just relax. Just relax. All right. Oh, no, no, no. So, she, what is she's she's being detained. detained. She's being detained right now. Okay. Yeah, all right. The way she's acting just now. Okay. And and how is that? No. It, uh, how how is she just acting? In, in, in your eyes. That, that's all I want to see. I just want to. Tell me she's not going to listen. No, she didn't say that. She she asked you. She asked you if she wants if, if you can show her the the penal code that says or the law that says. I'm and not you said no. Come here, officer. We can explain to you too. I can hear you. I'm not comfortable right now, but I just need your case. No, you're coming to a bar. And we're just going to show you the the ordinance. I just feel like I'm, I'm, I'm asking you. I'm asking you to come to my car so I can get out. If you're not, if you want to see it, you have to come to the car. Right? Really uncomfortable. Really uncomfortable. That's, what is this reasoning? We're not going anywhere. You're not going to to what? what? So, why is it illegal to to wear to have a bikini on the beach? I literally wear this to the beach you every day. I want us to day. show you. We're going to show okay, you. Ab absolutely. All right, it's a video that's gone viral. That is Sam Panda. She's a a, a pretty famous acrobat. She posted that on Facebook. Went viral. She's on a beach down in South Carolina, and I guess someone called police on her, you know, ratting her out, and she ends up getting detained and cuffed for wearing a thong. Well, she then says, well, what's the law? So they bring her up to the squad cars, and one of the officers breaks out a little book here and starts reading her the local ordinance, which says that nudity is prohibited on the beach. And she's like, I'm not nude. I'm wearing a thong. So, it raises a lot of questions, like, why is she being detained? Why was she cuffed? And is a thong nudity or not? Huh. Well, posted this on social media. Incredible reaction, like through the roof reaction. Uh, we begin with our 13th juror. Comment of the day coming from Brett, who says, these cops don't even look like they fully understand the ordinance regarding this alleged nudity. Couldn't the powers to be have simply explicitly defined what nudity is in the context of this ordinance? All right, the state attorney from Palm Beach County, Florida, <laughs> who I don't know if you have this issue down in Palm Beach County that often, uh, but let me ask you, I know we all learn in law school uh, that defining pornography is very difficult, but how do we define nudity? What is nudity? Don't show yeah. me, it, uh, tell me. Yeah, I can tell you, this is not the reason why I went to law school or ran for state attorney, Vinny. So let me just try to figure this out. I don't know why four cops had to show up. I don't know why they handcuffed her. She must have been acting up. The problem with enforcing this ordinance is that it is vague, to your point. And it's hard to know what one person's definition of nudity is compared to another. I know it when I see it is the Supreme Court standard. But there are other people who are walking around who were a bit cheeky, if you will, and they weren't uh, arrested or charged. And so this whole thing is a mess. There is going to be selective prosecution here and selective punishment. So they should have just let this slide. And apparently the acrobat here blamed it on a Karen for making the call. That's one of these uh, uh, you know, privileged individuals who try to call the police on everyone. So this is not where police should be using the resources in the age of COVID. Carol writing tonight, wearing a thong is nudity. That tiny little string doesn't cover much and very easy to slip and show more than need be. I don't want to see a man in a Speedo or a woman in a thong at the beach if I am with my kid. Very inappropriate. And it may very well be a family beach, Dan. I think they're close to Myrtle Beach. Uh, Alana, um, should we be arresting men in Speedos? <laughs> Look, I think it's a, I agree with David, it's a complete waste, to, waste of resources during COVID. However, I did look into the statute and it does specify the word buttocks. So, you know, to the police credit, they were reading from the wording of, of, of the city ordinance. And so I think the draconian laws are not exactly in line with fashion. It's something to take up with the legislature. I know there's public decency laws, obscenity laws all throughout the United States. And for the most part, you know, they specify genitalia, which is obviously not something you want to see at a beach with children. Um, but I'm glad. I think they let her go. I think that was a good decision. <laughs> well, let's, let's get to this buttocks issue. What percentage? Because to me, there's a lot of gray area. There could be a lot of, depending on what you're wearing. You know, you're wearing something like this 
like this or like this? Like, where do we draw the line on this one, Nima? I mean, this is ridiculous, right? You know, you have four officers who are there arresting this woman. You know, here in L.A., I can't get LAPD to arrest a rapist, you know, but apparently in South Carolina, they have time to enforce these kind of laws. I mean, the law on the books um, as applied is overbroad. Um, the officer's interpretation is overbroad. So what is it like it, your buttocks can't be showing? So unless you're wearing board shorts, uh, boy shorts, excuse me, something like that. Any type of bikini is going to show part of the buttocks. I mean, this law is ridiculous. Officers enforcement of it is ridiculous. And this should not have happened. Um, I feel terribly sorry for this woman and outraged at whoever would actually call law enforcement because of an issue like this. It was a Karen. All right, let's get to definitely a Karen. Let's get let's get to Margie. Margie says, "Seems like the girl is getting famous for breaking laws. Either way, she should have been ticketed and removed from the beach." Next comment. Let's go to K. Nudity is without covering. A thing is considered a piece of clothing. Some, uh, I, I guess she says a thing, a thong is considered a piece of clothing. Some Karen got upset. Her hubby was staring at the woman and called police. Bet. Um, uh, do we think that's what may have happened here, Alana? I think so. <laughs> Just as a woman, I would imagine, you know, especially it's, it's the summertime. Women, it's like, like David said, cheeky is the new line of fashion. And some women sport it. Others don't like it. So I think that's what happened here. Yeah, I'll tell you, at the trial, uh, Nima, would you call uh, Cisco as an expert witness for you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, thong song, G-strings. I mean, we need the whole, you know, encyclopedia of the evolution of the bikini for this one. <laughs> all right that's all i got tonight that's it folks all right nima romani <laughs> uh, dave arenberg and of course uh, alana yakovlev great to have you all on the program tonight thank you so much thanks for playing along and we will see you again soon okay folks we got through it you know i didn't even throw one pun you know during the meeting i had fifteen thousand puns but i i held back tonight Anyhow, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again tomorrow night at 8. We are here live from 8 to 11, your front row seat to justice. I'm Vinny Politan. As always, don't forget to hug the kids.